I try my best to refrain from doing videos about the gay community simply because I know that they're very sensitive about the if you say something or even if they think you said something that they might find offensive you'll be dealt with swiftly with extreme prejudice your career your dreams your aspiration all that shit is gonna get laid to rest by a rainbow ninja and to be honest I have no problem with people being gay I feel as though it's your choice whatever you choose to do in the bedroom that's on you but from the outside looking in, I want people to understand that I be very confused about a lot of things. I'm gonna give you an example, right? So one day I'm at Walmart and the person in front of me dropped their wallet. Now I saw long hair and you know, the person had on some tight jeans and a blouse. And I'm gonna keep it 100, it, 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 she wasn't shapely, okay? But at the same time, some white women don't really have shape like that. So some of y'all, you know what I'm saying? Y'all narrow. She had broad shoulders and she was straight. All right? So I'm I'm being a good Samaritan. I said, ma'am, ma'am, you dropped your wallet, ma'am. She turned around and it was a, a dude in a, in a wig and in, in a blouse and he ain't even shaved. That's, that's, I think that's what really threw me off is the fact that he ain't even shaved and then when he said thank you, he said thank you in his man voice. He's like, oh, thank you. So I didn't know if he was going to take offense to me calling him ma'am or sir, if he was going to happy I called him ma'am or sir. It was just one of them situations where I was just like, yo, it's time for me to go. You know what I'm saying? Just because I, I felt so, I'm, I'm gonna be real. I felt uncomfortable because I didn't want to offend her. Like hopefully, you know, he identifies as a her. I didn't want to offend her. Now, I say all that to say this. Today, something very strange happened to me. And I'm not gonna lie. It confused me even more. I went to Dunkin' Donuts, pull up to the drive-thru, and the person answered, they said, Welcome to Dunkin' Donuts. May I take your order? Just like that, same tone of voice. I thought it was a, a dude. I thought it was a teenager, I'm not gonna lie. Like a, like a 19, a 18, 19 year old, right? I said, what's going on, bro? Let me get a cinnamon razor bagel with strawberry cream cheese. The person said, is that all? Just like that, same tone of voice. Now my voice ain't that deep, but I'm pretty sure that motherfucker's voice was a little deeper than mine, right? I said, uh, hold on, bro. Yeah, let me get a plain bagel, regular cream cheese. They told me my price, it was like $9 or some shit like that. And I drove to the window. Drove to the window, and to my surprise, it was a female. Now, let me describe the way this, this young lady looked. She, she had the, the locks, she had baggy clothes, you know, from my experience, a lot of uh, dyke women, they dress like, you know, early 2000s rappers. Not all of them, but a lot of them dress like early 2000s rappers, okay? We have this thing where we say um, uh, lesbian women look like Manny Fresh. I know y'all have heard this before. In, in this situation, she looked like a mix of future and Manny Fresh, okay? I pulled up, she had the, the baggy clothes, and what solidified it for me, I'm like, okay, she's definitely a lesbian, so I can't feel bad about calling her a bro. She was sagging. She was sagging her pants, and she had some Fruit of the Looms boxes. Now, only niggas sag. Like, I'm gonna keep it 100. You, you, if you sagging, you either a dude or you a lesbian. And I've been in situations where lesbian women were sagging around me, and at the end of the day, you know, I. No disrespect to you. If you got them cheeks, I'ma look. But that's a topic for another um another video. But I pull up to the window and I'm looking for my card. And while I'm looking for my card, she uh she says, "Hey, by the way, I'm not a bro, okay? I'm not a bro." And I I, I looked at her. It, it just caught me by surprise that she she checked me. I looked at her. I was like, "Okay." I gave her my card. And while she's swiping and doing all that i'm just sitting there like yo you know i'm confused because the lesbian women i know if you call them bro like they take it as a compliment because 
they associate themselves like they're one of the bros. And to me, she clearly was a lesbian. She clearly was was a dyke. And it just it just threw me for a loop. Like I felt bad. I'm not gonna lie, I felt bad because it was like I thought you was a dude based on your voice. I don't know if you find that offensive. Which is weird to me that you would find that offensive because when I'm around my, my dyke female friends, they try to make their voice deeper than it really is. Tell me if I'm wrong. When lesbian women are around, the ones that dress like dudes, sometimes when they're around dudes, they make their voice a little deeper. You know what I'm saying? I've caught this numerous times. So to me, when I pulled up and I seen that it was a, a female, it was one of them situations where like, oh, all right, like even though I called her a bro, she's one of the bros. Plus she had the freaking rainbow beads on her hand. So, you know what? Maybe she was on her period, dog, because I, I just can't understand what was the reason for checking me? What was the reason? Like, can somebody please explain to me, am I wrong? for feeling some type of way. I know you shouldn't judge a book by its cover, but if the cover is clearly gay, then am I wrong? Like you mad at me, I, I dress you like a dude because of your voice, I understand. But at the same time, when I pull up, you, you look like a sir, like you dress like a sir. How can you be upset at me? Why are you upset at me? I need some clarification. This is what be confusing me, son. Like, and I, I, before at one point, you know what I think too, to be honest with you, while we on this topic, I feel as though like, if you're one of those people that are super sensitive about your, your, um, your pronouns, I feel as though you should wear like a, a tag. Like, no, I can't say that. <laughs> you can't say that. You can't even say that, bro. Like, if you're not gonna, if you're one of the people that's super sensitive about your pronouns, right, and you have a, a issue, like, correcting people, wear a badge. I'm not saying this for everybody, but there's certain people out here who, when you address them, and if you get it wrong the first time, and they don't tell you enough or like that, they catch an attitude. If that's the case, yo, look, my pronouns is she and they. Okay, she and they. Got it. Got you. Copy. Look, man, I hope I don't get canceled for this video. You know, y'all know how how these folks get down, man. But I'm re I was really confused at the fact that I got checked, and clearly she she was dressed like one of the bros. Like it was one of them. Like, all right, I called you bro, but you know, maybe I'm wrong. Explain to me, man, please.